out on the front lines in Afghanistan, Berlin helicopters and their crews have proved their worth, flying troops and supplies to the remotest bases, often under enemy fire. There were some hairy moments, and it's that constant living on, on, on that edge, um, not, not knowing what to expect, um, which, which really sets the bar. I mean, it's certainly not boring. The Merlin's deployment in Afghanistan came after five years flying in support of troops in Iraq. But although many of the challenges in the air are the same, the flying conditions are very different, much hotter and higher in Helmand, putting extra strain on the aircraft and its crew. We were working in 45-degree um, in heat, 40-45 degree heat, but that's just the outside temperature. Once you it put into it the uh, humidity inside the cockpit, the, uh, the engines, it can, uh, sitting on the ramp, you can get up to about 60, 60 plus degrees of, uh, of heat. And I'm getting to his level, and you can see his level. So, back at the Merlin's base at RAF Benson in Oxfordshire, he and his comrades now train on this high-tech simulator before they go to Afghanistan, allowing pilots and crews to simulate the situations they'll face. We can come in any time of the day, um, Set up this desert simulator, we can change temperatures, we can change dust levels, we can change light levels as you've ever seen. And be able to simulate pretty much everything we do whilst in operations right here uh, in England, which is, which is invaluable. The squadron allowed journalists to try the simulator for ourselves. Once inside the cockpit, it all feels very real. From the scenarios to the way the simulator tilts when you fly at an angle to landing under fire. We can probably do... 50% of, uh, of what we need to do, and uh, particularly all the high-end stuff in the simulator, but we still need to conduct life flying both in the UK um, and abroad. The Merlins have been in Afghanistan for a year now, flying in often very challenging conditions. And the crews say that they're performing well. So far, they've moved almost 40,000 troops and over 750 tonnes of kit. And every flight over Helmand carries its own risks in the air, as its pilots and crews try to ensure the troops travel safely before they face their own dangers on the ground beneath. Caroline Wyatt, BBC News, at RAF Benson.